All right, Shalom. Call Eloyim La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Wahawah Chakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, to your brothers out there across the globe pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And Shalom to you, future sisters, sisters as well who hearken. All right, peace, love, and blessings. Um, Chaya here back with another video. And I just want to do this real quick, you know, talk, discussing the situation at work. And, um, I'm going into it, you know, tying into the tying it into the scriptures because you know it's relevant to my life, you know, or whatever the case, man. I was um I, I came into a situation with um with a with another coworker who was basically um he just kind of like you know it's like a free will. He's doing his own thing on the job, and on the job that I have on the plantation that I'm at, we all literally have to work together as a team in order to keep the place going. You know, one small thing that you mess up is going to affect everybody, you know? So I noticed he he was doing it. And, you know, the dude, he, he's a worker, you know what I'm saying? He, he worked just like I work, but he's always trying to cut corners and so on and so forth, you know? And that's one thing you, you can't do. It's not wise. But um, he's been doing, he's been cutting. So he's basically been cutting corners at the job and doing things that would inconvenience the rest of the team. So I noticed it and um, I addressed him about it. But when I addressed them, I took somebody else with me. I went to go, I went to go talk to one of my other coworkers. I was just like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel like how, how do you um how do you because I actually thought him or somebody else had 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 did it. You know, it's basically once again, it was just a little small something that that's really slowing the groove and the pace down or whatever. So I went to go holler at my other coworker. I was just like, yo, like, you know, did you do that or do you know who did that? And he was just like, nah, but I seen it too. You know, so he noticed he noticed a little pattern going on as well and stuff like that. So I was just like, OK, so let's let's go to the guy who's been doing it, which we didn't know at the time, but we had an idea. So we were just like, I was just like, yo, just, you know, let's look for homeboy and let's see what's going on. Let, let's just ask them. So when we approached him and we asked him, we were just like, yo, is you is you doing such and such? So on and so forth. He was just like, yeah. And so we looked at each other and just like, yo, like, you got to stop doing that because you're slowing the team down, you know, because, you know, you you basically operating, you know, in your own zone, not thinking about anybody else is it's messing us up and we have to clean up after you, you know, and I said it, you know, respectfully, you know, um, uh, but the witness, all right, the, the witness, he was with me, you know what I'm saying? And um, we, we told him, we told him, you know, he was just like, yo, I'm not about to stop what I'm doing in the zone and so on and so forth, just to do that, X, Y, Z, basically just to do everything the right way, so to speak, and stuff like that. So he said that, I was just like, look, bro, I said, look, man, you, you heard that, right? I was talking to the witness. I said, look, man, you, you heard what he said, right? He said, he's not going to stop doing it. You heard that, right? He said, yeah, I heard it, you know, and then, um, you know, I, I, just went, I just went about my business. I just went on my way. So this was about two weeks ago. This matter, it happened roughly two weeks ago. So he he he's still doing it. He kept doing it. He kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And so uh today, um the supervisor had brought it to everybody's attention. You know, he was just like, hey, whoever's cutting corners in this place is really irritating, man. You know, because the supervisor he went he went about, you know, his, his business to go clean up the warehouse and shit like that. And he was just like, yo, like whoever's cutting corners like this, you need to stop doing this, man. Because it's selfish, you're only looking after like yourself, man, you know, nobody should have to clean up after you. The same conversation we had with the coworker who was, who, who was doing these things, right? And um, when we was having a little meeting about it, you know, like I, I chuckled. I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to chuckle or whatever, but it was, it was funny because I'm just like, you see, like it, it came back on him. You know, again, we was, so what, me and the witness, we was trying to tell him to what, to look, man, clean up your act. Or this is gonna come back on you. That's basically what we was telling him. You know what I'm saying? So it, it can't it did manage to come back on him today, and he got called out. You know, not by name, but you know, just in a general sense, because it could be anybody doing it. But I know for a fact it was him because he admitted to it, right? So the supervisor, he was just like, hey, like whoever's doing this, you, you gotta stop because you're slowing things down. You know what I'm saying? Just you gotta you we have to work together as a team and so on and so forth. So you know, I went to the witness after the meeting was over. I, I went to the witness and I was just like, yo, you see what happened there, right? That shit came back on him. He 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 wasn't he wasn't following suit. 
So it came back on him, you know? Now, this matter in itself is not really a situation of glory in or whatever, because, you know, this is just, like I said, this is just a part of my own personal life. This is all on a damn plantation, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that I mean, there, there could be a brother up there, who knows, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't I don't really care about them. They're just guys in the world, man. You know, unless one of them repents. So, and I'm, I'm tying this in to the truth, man, because that's exactly what we have to do in the camp, man. This is what we do according to the word. All right? Because the last thing you want to do is what? Uh, a bear false witness or bring up a false accusation on an individual. No, you, you, you get a witness. You know, you discuss it with that witness. And then what? You address... You address the, the, the person dealing those actions, man. Okay, like anytime in, in, in a camp situation, if a brother's backbiting or if a brother's stealing or if a brother's committing adultery or any type of wickedness, you need to bring it, you need to bring it to a witness and then you go about it accordingly, man. You know, that's why like I, I got happy like at, at, after that moment. Like I said, it's not much to glory, but I was I was I was happy with myself because I thought of the scriptures, man. I was just like, I don't want to deal with this guy by myself. Because he's he's a little cocky, man. You know, he's a little arrogant. He's not that much older than me, but he, he got that old bottle mentality. You know, so I'll just say, look, let me just go ahead and bring somebody with me and I'll go deal with the situation. You know, it will go deal with the situation. And that's exactly what I did through the spirit. You know, I don't want somebody making my job harder. I don't like cleaning up after people if I don't have to, right? But in any sense, this is the book of Matthew, right? In the New Testament, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, and I'll start at verse 15. It says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and between thee and him alone. Yeah, so if, if your brother in the truth, a brother that you camp with, all right, if, if he sins against you, go highlight him, go say, Hey, I you know, I, I really didn't appreciate it when you did this. And me personally, I'll, I'll always use I statements. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's like I'm, I'm letting you know how I felt about what you did, you know, but I'm starting with myself, right? You don't want to just go point your fingers and all angry and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say, be angry and sin not, you know? And you, you also got to have patience, man. The, the scriptures say what? Um, a man that is, him that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, roughly paraphrasing, in Proverbs. It says, moreover, Matthew 18 and 15, moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Yeah, man. Meaning what? Hey, Ak, I, you know, I was offended when you did that. Or I, I really didn't appreciate it when you did that. And so on and so forth. And then if, if he confesses it and he apologizes to what? You just gained your brother. You know what I'm saying? That, that means what? Everything is cool now, right? Verse 16. It says, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee. One or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Hey, look, Akim, you know what I'm saying? I, I love this brother a lot, but he, you know, he's 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 on the offensive route right now. You know what I'm saying? He, he's been offending me. I tried to tell him over and over. I asked him if he could stop. You know, you bring it to two or three more witnesses, man. That's in the law. That's in the law. The, the scriptures tell you you have to do that, man. As a matter of just to prove that, right? Because and that's why I, I talked to my other co-worker. I was just like, look, man, this dude is slowing us down. You know, he's a good worker, but he's slowing us down. He keep doing, he keeps doing this, man. You know, and, and I, you know, I, I want to fix it. He was feeling the same exact way. So what? I took a witness. We went to go holler at him, right? That's in the law. You're supposed to do that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 19. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse, verse 15. All right, it starts at verse 15, Deuteronomy 19 and 15. It says, one witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin, and any sin that he sinneth at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established yeah because you know like uh back in the ancient well even now i can say even now you got you got jake you know or, or brothers in the camp that indulge in, in certain 
in certain matters that they shouldn't be indulging in, man. Whatever that matter it is, uh, whatever that matter is, you know what I'm saying? That, that you know they may, you know, be back. They might be backbiting. Um, they might be backbiting against brothers. You know, gossiping about brothers behind their back, just talking shit. You know, stealing from from the pot. You know, whatever it is, man. Uh, just always lying. Whatever the whatever the case is, man. False accusations. All right. So that's why you bring two or three witnesses with you to get a matter established, man. You know, now back in the ancient world, which is the point I was getting into, you you went to the with certain matters, you went to the to the Levitical priest. Okay? But as a nation that's being raised up to be kings and priests, we have to learn how to judge matters within our own selves, man. Okay. So going back to Deuteronomy 19. Verse 16, it says, if a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him, that which is wrong, meaning what? If, like if you if you go to if you go to tell somebody that what they're doing is wrong, or if you tell somebody else that you know this person committed a sin or iniquity, some type of trespass against the Lord, all right, against against the law, all right. It says, it says what? If a false false witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord. Okay, so the Lord, he takes place in every matter, man. All right, you could you could read about that in uh, Amos three and uh, Amos three and six, man. Shall a shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not warned? You know, or a lion be in the city and the people should not be afraid, or a lion roared and the people not be afraid. Okay, the Most High Yahweh Shem El Shai. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai is in every single matter, man. All right? Big and small. It says, Then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days. All right? And this is talking about what? If a false witness, you know what I'm saying, like uh, it comes, comes up against anybody in the house of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, which you, you do have, unfortunately, you have that, those strivings and those those false accusations and that backbiting in camps, man. And we're not supposed to be like that, you know? It says, Deuteronomy 19 to 18, And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness be a false witness and have testified falsely against his brother, then, then shall ye do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shalt thou put the evil away from among you. So mean what? Basically, he's gonna get judged, man. Okay, now 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 you're now you're being accused, you know? Now you're now you're being accused. Now now you in a hot seat, you know? Because what you rose up being a false witness, giving false testimony, right? Now you're in the hot seat, right? 19 and 20, Deuteronomy. It says, And those which remain shall hear in fear. And shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. Verse 21. And thine eye shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Yeah, man. And that's, look, and that's the way it's, it's supposed to play out, man. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's fair judgment. You know, so it could have been easy for me to be, well, as a man of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I would do my best not to do that in any in any sense, whether it's somebody in the world, especially not a brother in the truth, man. You know, I do my, I, I try not to do that in, uh, in general. Just be a fucking a false witness, man, because that's that's not good. You know, that's 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 a lack of integrity. Okay, you 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 don't got no balls, man. You just because you mad at somebody, you create a false accusation against them. Because I was trying to figure out who was doing it, who was who was you know messing up the job and. You know, basically cut corners and inconvenience in the team because I really didn't know. You know, I didn't accuse the dude. I went to another individual and I was just like, hey, do you know who's doing this? And he was just like, I don't know. So then both of us went to him and he admitted that he did it. I didn't just say, oh, yo, I know you doing this and yada, 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 so on and so forth. You you can't do that, man. You know, that's not the way men should operate, especially men of Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's not the way we need to facilitate or carry ourselves. All right. Everything in the truth is about order. All right. Going back to Matthew chapter um Matthew chapter 18. 
Um, I'll read 16 again. It says, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Yeah, so now nothing is missed. All the ground is covered, right? It says, um, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a as an heathen man and a publican. Yeah, like let him alone, man. Throw, throw him away, cast him out. Because what? He doesn't he doesn't want to be corrected. He doesn't want to be um uh, um uh, proven. He doesn't want to be tried. Okay, he doesn't want to repent. All right, and the scriptures talk about that, man. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and get it. That was the point on that. This is the book of Proverbs. Okay, I'm back here. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 1. All right, because you got a lot of our people in that spirit. You know, that that, that stiff-necked spirit, man. You know, they hard-headed like, nah, I ain't do nothing wrong. Nah, it wasn't me. I ain't even do shit, man. Yada, yada, yada. You know, why you acting like that? And so on and so forth, man. You got a lot of our people in that, that you know, that, that hyper-emotional spirit to where they, they, they bitch up whenever... You know what I'm saying? The, the truth comes out about them, man. You know, when, when you when you tell somebody their faults, when you tell somebody their offenses, they bitch up, man. You know, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man. Y'all are nothing without the Lord. We are nothing without Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? So it's important to, what? Retain your, uh, maintain your integrity. Okay, yo, just, just fess up. Like how Jake in the world like to say, like, just fess up. It's Okay. All right, the worst that's gonna happen, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a little rebuke, you're gonna get a little talking to, and then that's gonna be that. We we wiping our hands clean, man. All right, we letting that be that. But Jake, Jake wants to to, to self-justify himself, man. All right. But this is Proverbs 29 and 1. It says, He that being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Yep, it says, He that being reproved. Hard enough his neck, meaning what? He he won't budge. <laughs> and that's that's Jake to a T. Jake is very stubborn. You could watch Jake slap an old lady in the face, ask him why he did it. He'll tell you straight up, yo, I didn't do that. You could watch Jake rob a damn store, hold somebody at gunpoint, you know, do any type of any manner of wickedness, and he will straight up tell you, right in your face, no, I didn't do that. I that that wasn't me. I didn't do it. You know. But you, you just watch him do everything. He'll 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 tell you a bold faced lie, man. You know? And that was the situation. Well, it, it wasn't it wasn't really the situation with that dude. It was uh, it wasn't the situation with that dude. It was more like he didn't he didn't want to repent, man. You know, until that shit came back on him today. You know? But that was the point on that. I'll get this one last scripture and then I'll close out. Like I said, this is just something, you know, just for for because we got it, we have to deal accordingly in our um, in our everyday lives as well, man. On the plantation, when we go out to eat, you know what I'm saying. Like when we go visit family, when we go deal with family, you have to deal with the scriptures, man. You like you have to have the scriptures in your mind. That's what and Yahweh Shem was was the only reason, you know, through the through the Spirit was the only reason I was able to deal with that situation effectively. Because me and the world of me a while back, I would have I would have you know. Got mad at the dude and be like, yo, what the hell? Yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? I, or, or, or I probably would have just bottled it up and then let it on out later, man, which that's not good. Like the scriptures say what? Let not your son go down upon your wrath. All right. So even more so with brothers in the truth, if, if you got a matter, if you got something that a brother did, that's, that's, that's bothering you, that annoyed you, that, that, you know, you feel offended by you need to go talk to that man, you know? You need to go talk to that man. That's only righteousness, and that's that's love, man. That's charity. That's brotherly love because what? Iron sharpen of iron, and so does a man the countenance of his friend, all right? If you go off, a brother's supposed to tell you, you know? If you slip on the scripture, a brother's supposed to tell you, you know? Whether at camp or, or after camp, uh, however the spirit deals, you know? 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. It says, let all things be done decently and in order. All right? And, and that's the point, man. You know, just a little background here. This is basically the Apostle Paul to the brothers 
in Corinth, you know, basically, you know, telling them to, to use their gifts, man, you know, speaking in tongues, you know, any type of uh, 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 um, information or, you know, whatever it is that you can contribute to the church, man, you know, give it, give, give it to the church, you know what I'm saying, like, like, put it in there, you know, um, <laughs> that's funny, speaking of church, you know, the, the, my, the elder brother, Wakam Mayim, he, he recently did a video you know, going into the word Ecclesiastes, man, which which means church, which also means to call out. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're supposed to do in the church of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. You gotta you gotta call these things out, man. You the the main thing is prophecy, man. You know the prophecies and every like the the from the smallest matters to the greatest matters, we have to call it out, man. All right, because what well, we have the testimony, all right, the the testicles. We are witnesses, all right, to Yahweh Shem Yahushua's glory. We will. We, and we will be the ultimate witnesses to the Lord's glory, man. All right. But the scriptures say, let all things be done decently and in order. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I went in order with that situation. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was like, look, let me not get irritated. Let me think of, let me think this through. Let me think this through and let me just go deal with it. And the scriptures was, was playing on my head, you know, the whole time. So, you know, like I said, hopefully this was edifying and, you know that this way this uh this can help a next help the next brother out and so on and so forth, man. You know? Call him Laya Habashimi Hao Shai. Shalom.